Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice stuff. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Here we go. Beautiful uh, tile, texture sheets, and stuff like that. So I decided we're going to keep the texture sheet uh, in here, in the tile map. So we need a way to kind of get that out so we can get the dimensions of the entire texture sheet. Um, and also, yeah, basically just the dimensions. That's what I'm, what I'm looking for. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do an accessors section here. SF texture pointer get tile. um texture sheet i guess is that too long tile sheet might be a little easier uh, i'm just gonna get that get that defined here so there we go uh what do we have up here uh okay so accessors functions accessors also function though so I don't know why I do this, but it, it kind of helps keep everything in place. Helps me find stuff easier. Um, so I'm just going to close this down for a second. Here we go. So I'm just going to do a return. No. This. Tile. Texture sheet. Now that's a long, long. I don't know. I kind of regret using that name. I don't have to though. I could just remove that there. Tile sheet. Does that sound right though? Tile sheet. Let's just use it because it's a little shorter. Um, so just change that everywhere, wherever you find it. Tile sheet it should be on these three space places. Otherwise you could just go up here and change this. And then it will kind of complain everywhere in here we haven't changed it um but anyway once you do that that should be fine now we can get this back meaning uh meaning that we can get the size get all that stuff we could technically change this so what i want to do is i just want to do a little const here just make sure it's safe so let me do a little const and const magic to make sure it's safe so we don't accidentally change the texture or the tile sheet to something else. So there we go. Once we have that down, the next step for me is going to um, actually create a text, a SF uh, text variable. Um, what should I call it? What should we call it? Uh, uh, cursor text. I'll just call it cursor text because it's going to be next to my cursor. It's just going to be stuff falling around my cursor, basically. So I'm going to do that. Um, init fonts void init text. Init text. Does that sound right? Texts. Texts text in it text I guess we'll just call it in a text so we'll keep it simple uh, and this is just gonna initialize this text object we're gonna be using uh, and I'm gonna do it right after init fonts like this editor state and this is important the reason we're doing this might seem kind of kind of dumb but uh, we need to do this because we need to call it here as well because seeing things and seeing data in front of you really helps uh, so it's worth the extra effort and we're going to use that later on as much as we need um, when we're uh, when we're coding when we're creating this editor so it's going to really help out now instead of drawing that i'm just going to do this cursor text that's what i'm going to render i'm going to copy all of this and put it in that in 
the function where did i where did i put it right here okay there we go so i'm just gonna put that there just for a second do this because this is one thing i remembered we need to actually take this in a gui function and just put it after tile map just gonna make sure to do that because initializing the tile map will initialize its texture for us and then we'll initialize the gui and it will kind of help us control that texture or use that texture in order to select different parts of the texture. So that's why I'm doing this first. So just make sure you uh, put that above in a GUI. Also in a text under in it fonts here because we need a font before we can initialize text. Uh, so we're going to remove this. We're going to keep that for now. This cursor text, just copy that this cursor text code and just paste that everywhere mm. and this is just going to be the update this is going to also be an update so i'm going to put that there uh, and that's great so i'm just going to put a dot f here and then move set string i'm going to put cursor text here as well wait uh, this cursor text dot set string so we need this string stream object now where should I do this I should do this in a update in the update GUI I think probably gonna do that there um, select the so I'm just gonna create a string stream put all the data in and then um, yeah, set that text. Hopefully. So hopefully this should work now. Let's just run this. Let's see. Am I even recording? Yes. So there we go. Now that is not rendering any text for me. Um, I am drawing it out. I'm going to actually put that in, no wait, render GUI, so that would be under everything. No, I need to keep it here. Uh, the selector, okay, that's fine. We're setting the string. Update GUI, if it's not paused, that's good. Let's see if we init text. Init text. So we're setting the font, the character size. We're not setting the color though. Shouldn't matter. This cursor text dot set fill color sf color white. Let's do that. And then oh, we need to kind of update it as well. Sorry about that. Let's just copy this. Put that into update GUI. Where did I have that? Right here. Okay, so we need to put the position, set the position of it, and then do all that other beautiful stuff. So there we go. There we go. Now we have our cursor text here. I would like to have it on the side. So this tells me, yeah, this tells me where my texture rectangle is right now. So that is, uh, that is, that's nice. That is nice. That is nice. Now, one thing I want to do before we move on to the next video, uh, where we're actually going to create a, another GUI element, a texture selector element thingy. I know you probably won't really like it a lot. I know some of you like engine GUI programming. Some of you don't, but so I'm sorry about that. But it's, you know, the purpose of this is to kind of learn. So I'm thinking creating one of those is, is good for you in the long run. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll just go through that. Uh, anyway, before we end, what I want to do, 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 where is it? Uh, where where do we update the update GUI? Update GUI. God damn it! Am I blind? Here we go. Okay, so this selector rec dot set texture. Um, this tile map get tile sheet 
there you go. So that's what I want to try out. So it's going to set the texture for us. And then actually I do want to just put that in initialize UI after we set everything else right there. That's where I want to put it because we don't want to set the texture all the time. We just want to set it once and then it will change the, uh, the thing for us. Wait, editor, it won't show it. Wait, it won't show it because, because I'm still dumb. I'm very dumb. Uh, the reason it doesn't show it because we have this transparent here. What I want to do here actually is a SF color may be somewhat transparent. Wait, 255. 255, 255, and then maybe like 150 or something like that, just to have a little bit of transparency. And then we're going to run this and we'll see. Uh, editor. So there you go. Okay, that is, that's great. Actually, uh, that isn't really what I want. What I do want is, let's see. Where is it? We're going to need this later, so we might as well create it now. Uh, set texture. Here we go. So this selector rect dot set texture rect. We want to set the rect as well to this uh, texture rect, I guess it's called. So there you go. So we're just going to set that to the default texture rect that we initialize it to. And then we're going to keep setting that in the update as well. And then for the final time when we run it, uh, we shouldn't have any problems, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, so there you go. Now you have the grass texture showing. And if I switch that, we'll have the watercolor, water texture showing uh, in front of this. See, but a problem we're having is that the tile map is rendering in front of that. And the way you fix that is all you have to do is just go down and the render GUI should be, uh, wait, the render GUI and the render buttons should be after, I think, no, the buttons should be, hmm, no, wait, they should be behind after the tile map, but and the pause menu, same thing with the text. I don't want it to be. So now we can actually, you know what? We can put the text into render GUI now. So we're just going to do that. Uh, target dot draw. There you go. So now it should look fine. Now you should render the selector box in front of everything else. Uh, so hopefully that should work just fine. See, now it's rendering in front. So now we can see what is going on. There you go, guys and girls. Sorry for being slow. I'm a little sick. My, my throat's hurting a little bit. Um, and I've been a little little weird in this video, it feels like. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. But hopefully you learned something. Hopefully we're moving forward. So in the next video, we're going to create that tile selector thing and, and keep working on that. And once we can select tiles, we're going to save and load these maps. And we're going to load them in to the game. Then we'll probably work with collision and stuff like that. So, so we're moving forward. Don't worry. Even if we do uh, work a lot on GUI elements and stuff like that. But it's it's just good. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. All the support and, and everybody who, who uh, sticks sticks with me and all uh, in the series as well. And all that. So uh, just a, a million thanks to you. Keep working hard. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.